Good morning, Peace Ortigas! Welcome to a brand new day! Thank you once again for joining us tonight in a wonderful reflective prayer. This is our mealtime with God. This is your feeding of your heart with God's love. Pero the Lord said, just, just allow yourself to be used by God. And siya name bahala sa lahat. Are you ready to be blessed right now? Jesus said, you are the light, you are the salt of the earth, you are the light of the world. I feel that God really is watching over me. God is working in you. He never goes tired or me. Ang Panginoon ay laging pinagtatanggol tayo. The Word of God comforts us. Lord, please use me today in any way. Allow yourself to be so thankful. One of the reasons that we're surviving right now is because of the grace and mercy of God. God is calling us day in, day out. The Lord can change you. The Lord can help you. This world is a world, even though the world can be a dark place, the world is also a good place. God will set an opportunity for you to be a great follower. What we can do now is we spread hope, we spread the light. Fill your heart with so much gratitude and joy. May the Lord empower and set you up to by His Spirit. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hello, brothers and sisters. Good evening and happy, happy Monday. Uh, this is Sister Elaine Ong, and I will be uh, the servant who will be leading you in tonight's uh, late night snack. So, to our uh, frequent snackers, late night snackers, hello po. And then, uh, sa mga bago po sa, sa prayer practice na to, welcome, welcome po. And uh, before I start, uh, let me give a brief introduction again about uh, what Late Night Snack is. So, Late Night Snack is a prayer derived from St. Ignatius de Loyola's Examine Prayer. Uh, it's an ancient prayer practice that enables us to reflect on the events of the day or reflect towards a specific purpose. Uh, and it helps us to, to, see, <coughs> to see God's hands at work in our lives. Uh, it's a very powerful uh, prayer technique because it really helps us to introspect, channel, and discern God's presence and His direction in our lives. So, it's very much like a, a secular type of meditation, pero syempre, uh, it's more directed towards God. That's the main difference for the two. Pero parang, I guess very similar siya kasi you're, um, you're trying to communicate it with the higher power. So, it's really that. And then, Yun nga, um, you get to reflect on uh, what happened during your day uh, from from waking up pa lang up until yung time na to. Itong time na to that we are uh, praying and then just really noticing where God is and where God was in your day. Yun. So, to get the most out of this prayer practice, we just have two simple reminders. Uh, number one is to kindly switch off social media notifications as we enter into God's presence. And uh, secondly, you may post your comments after the evening prayer so as not to uh, disturb you or disturb us in the prayer para focus talaga tayo. Ayan. So, kasi, the more in tune you are with the peace within you and your surroundings, uh, the more God will be able to reveal Himself to you. And, uh, yun nga, yung environment natin, malaking bagay yun eh, para maka-focus tayo dun sa ginagawa natin, para maging present tayo. Ayan. So, for those new to the practice, uh, you may feel fidgety 
or uncomfortable at first and that's uh, normal and that's completely okay. Uh, when that happens, just take a few deep breaths uh, and then gently get your focus back or your attention back into prayer. Yan. So as always, don't forget to like and share this video with your friends and family and loved ones para ma-experience din nila ito. Ayan. So, without further ado, let's get to it! Good evening, my dear brothers and sisters. Before we begin our prayer tonight, let's take a few deep breaths and be mindful that we are in the Holy Presence of God. On your next breath, gently close your eyes and feel the quiet surrounding you. Now that we've come to quiet and stillness, let's begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Remember that this is a conversation between you and God. I'm merely a mediator, a guide for your prayer tonight. Take a deep breath and ask God to be with you now. If it helps, imagine Him sitting right next to you or sitting right across you. And by the mere sight of Him, you already know that a wonderful and comforting experience is about to happen. How are you? How was your day? Was it good? Was it bad? Or was it just okay? However it was, tell it to Jesus. How did you start your morning? Was there anything different that happened to you? Was there anything there that God was telling you Reminding you or teaching you? Reflect on this for a few moments. As you went through your day, what else happened? Carefully look back on your afternoon. Were there any people, places, or events where you saw God? How did you feel?
for any positive things that come to mind. Thank God and be grateful for being able to experience them. On the other hand, for any negative things you've experienced, remember, God is still there. I'm sure he was reminding you or teaching you a lesson to get you back on track or bring you closer to his plans for him. For you, sorry. If you feel like you've had no more than an ordinary day, God was also there. Maybe today was just a reminder of your faith and patience in His will and plans. But however plain and simple today was for you, still thank Him for keeping you alive and well, especially during this pandemic. Now that you're nearing your sleep, how are you feeling? Where is God and what is He telling you? Why did He bring you here with me tonight? Is there anything else you want to tell God at this time? Tell it to Him. Surrender it. Lift it all up to Him. Try to quiet down your thoughts and just listen. Listen to what God is telling you now. Now take a deep breath and ask for the grace to see more of him tomorrow. Keep noticing where he is in your life. Thank you again for joining me in tonight's Late Night Snack. And I hope this is a good addition to your evening rituals and uh, a good addition to your daily prayers. Uh, If you have any prayer requests, just uh, type them in below. And to cap the night, uh, let me lead you further into prayer for these additional uh, prayer requests. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Dearest Father, we glorify and praise your name. Thank you for the opportunity of bringing us here tonight. Thank you for opening our hearts and our minds to this prayer practice. I would like to to pray for all of the people behind their screens right now. I would like to pray for their dreams and aspirations, their wishes and petitions, their unspoken needs and pains, their struggles and challenges, and whatever else they need guidance for. We know that some of these wishes may not come true, that, uh, that the things we pray for may not be answered. That painful things 
are still bound to happen in our lives. But we trust and believe that you know better than we will ever do. We know you have a greater and grander, grander plan for all of us. So, dearest Father, guide us all in faith, hope, and love. And help us to remain graceful in, in all of these things that will be or we are, we are yet to experience. All these we pray in Jesus' mighty and holy name. Amen. As we pray uh, the prayer that Jesus taught us, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sinned against us. Do not bring us to the test, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and glory forever and ever. We also want to pray uh, or ask guidance for from the Blessed Mother. Uh, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. As we bring back all the glory to God, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and will be forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Thank you again, guys, and have a great week. Uh, God bless you always, and keep safe. Bye! years na po akong nandito sa Jeremiah Foundation. Noong una akong napunta dito sa Jeremiah, isa po sa naramdaman ko yung hindi ko alam kung paano may kisama sa kanina dahil sa paguhan pa lang ako. Nung tumagal na po ako dito, naging ano naman po ako sa kanila. Comfortable yung kasama, ganon. Hindi naman din po mahirap. Sa loob po ng dalawang taon, siguro po yung mga nagbago sa akin is yung tutukan po yung pag-aaral ko. Unti-unti po sumunod sa mga nakakatanda sa akin at yung hindi na po sasagot. Yung gusto ko lang pong sabihin sa mga taong gusto pa pong tumulong sa Jeremiah pag lang po kayong mahiya dahil anytime naman po pwede naman po kayong tumawag to or gusto nyo pong mag outreach sa amin. Thank you din po sa mga nagbibigay po sa amin ng love. Hindi lang po sa mga ibang tao kundi po yan sa mga gusto po pong pumunta sa amin. Thank you for the love po. Music